When I heard that Patty Lovell had, uh, had written a brand new Molly Blue Melon story, I was quite literally ready to drop everything and start drawing. Of course, I hadn't read the story yet, and it's really, really important for the illustrator to read the story first before he starts drawing. Uh, and I'll be the first to admit it, I really did miss this kid. Uh, she's just so much fun to draw. And even though I am a fully tall, adult-like person, it is great fun to live, uh, to live through her. In Molly Lou, I saw all of those qualities that I wish that I had had a, uh, as a kid. Um, her confidence, her big heart, her courage. Wouldn't you think that being able to walk under her dog would forever cast her into the role of underdog? No, in, in Molly Lou's case, it actually made her stronger, more compassionate. She actually had more heroism, I think, than, than Spider-Man and the Hulk wrapped up into one. And from the moment I read the stories, all I could think of was how great it would be if, uh, if I had a friend like her. Uh, this time around, Patty has created a story that, uh, that spoke to me personally, because I guess I was one of those kids who was always off somewhere else, lying on my back in the grass, looking at the pictures in the clouds, or seeing Devil's Tower in my mashed potatoes. I was one of those kids who saw infinite possibilities in a cardboard box, rather than that boring Godzilla action figure that came inside it. And this must have really frustrated my parents because I now know how much it costs to put on Christmas morning for six screaming kids. And then to look down at one of them who's rolling around in one of the boxes like it's a time machine or a Ferrari. Molly Lou and her huge imagination. Um, she's a kid after my own heart, really. Oh, and did I mention that drawing the pictures for Have Fun Molly Lou Melon was actually more fun than a truckload of empty cardboard boxes? I don't know if you can tell, but I love to draw. To me, there is nothing more beautiful than a pencil sailing across an endless sea of paper. That faint whooshing sound of the pencil as it glides across, discovering new worlds, new people, new places. But strange things happen when I draw. When I'm drawing, I, I kind of feel myself actually stepping into the picture. I'm in the scene and I can have, at that point, almost a 360 degree view of the action. And I think it's, it's through this process of uh, of introducing myself physically into the drawing that allows me to to feel and uh, maybe even understand the characters and what motivates them. And sometimes that's the stuff that guides me uh, on where I take a picture. And you're never able to anticipate that. It's something that, that almost happens on its own. And so consequently, I'm as curious really as, as anybody to see how a picture turns out. It's really an adventure. 